No matter how much sin you've committed, no matter how much haram you have fallen into, no matter how many clubs you've walked into, no matter how much alcohol you've consumed, no matter how much drugs you've taken, no matter how much pornography you've watched, doesn't matter how many women you've slept with, doesn't matter how much riba you've indulged in, it doesn't matter how much gambling you've wasted your life and your money on, it doesn't matter how much wrong and sin you've committed, you can always change and repent and come back to Allah. Don't let the sin of yesterday determine the goodness and the future of today and tomorrow. Don't let your past dictate your future. It's not about where you've been, rather it's about where you're at and where you're heading. My brothers and sisters, come back to Allah and repent. Allah will always, always forgive you if you are sincere in your repentance. Your chances are always there. Hope is always there. But not only am I asking you to repent, no, rather I want you to repent and to be the best that you can be. Change, change my brothers and sisters and become the best that you can be. You know you can be a much better person. Don't allow your past to stop you from this. Wallahi, our history is rich with examples of those people who were the worst, but then they changed and they became the best of people. Like one of our great scholars, Malik bin Dinar, who was an alcoholic, he was a thief, a man that used to rob and harm people. He changed, he repented, and he became the best at what he did. Malcolm X, only in our recent history, the worst of past. This is a man that was a thug, he was an alcoholic. This is a man that spent many years in prison, but he changed, he repented, and he became the best at what he did. He became a man that inspired others to be the best. And that's what I want from every single one of you, to be the best that you can be. Change, my brothers. Come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, why do we fall? Why do we make mistakes? To learn how to pick ourselves back up and to move forward. You cannot appreciate light unless you've tasted darkness. You cannot appreciate health until you've tasted sickness. You cannot appreciate strength until you've tasted weakness. You can turn around. You can make the past be a driving force to make you move forward and never to fall back into that lifestyle ever again. Move forward, my brothers and sisters. The month of Ramadan is here, the greatest month of the year, the month of change, the month when the doors of hellfire are closed, the doors of paradise are opened, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling every single one of us. Run, run. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my slave, if you come to me a handspan, I come to you an arm's length. My slave, if you come to me walking, I come to you running. Just come to me. Go to Allah, my brothers and sisters. Make that change in your life. Make this Ramadan the beginning of permanent change in your life. Be the best that you can be because it's in you. Don't let the past get the better of you.